What's up YouTube, JD here, back with yet another review for you guys. And today we're gonna to be talking about the latest Adidas 350 V2 colorway. We're gonna be talking about the Isra Fields. What up fam? So in this video, I'm gonna break down the sneaker, talk about the colorway a little bit. We'll also get into why this sneaker has caused so much controversy. I'll talk about sizing, we'll get into resale predictions, and as always, I will be giving you guys that on-feet look. So make sure you stick around until the end of the video. So the Adidas Yeezy 350 V2 Isra Fields. Now, before we even get into the sneaker, let's talk about that name for a little bit. So this name, Isra Field, has caused a lot of outrage, especially amongst the Islamic community. The reason for that is Isra Field happens to be the name of one of the four angels of Islam. It's a very holy name, and rightfully so, a lot of people are quite angry that they named a sneaker after this angel. And this isn't the only one. Actually, next month, we're going to be seeing the Azrael pair drop and that is also named after one of the four angels of Islam. There's an online petition calling for people to change the name, calling for people to abandon Adidas altogether. This actually isn't the first time we've seen Kanye use religion in order to sell products. He had a whole album titled Jesus is King. He even dropped a pair of socks and sold it for $50 and called them church socks. It will be interesting to see what Adidas actually does. Of course, it's probably too late to change the name on this pair. It already released, but they might end up changing the name of the Azriels. We can wait and see. This sneaker released on August the 22nd worldwide and it only released in two places, the Adidas app and also Yeezy Supply, which actually makes this a pretty limited pair of 350s. I did get my pair from the Adidas app, to be honest, when I first First saw pictures of this shoe, I wasn't interested at all in this getting this pair, especially with this yellow stripe. But I gotta say, having this in hand, it does look a lot better in hand than it did in pictures. The colorway on this shoe features what in my opinion is two of the most popular colorways on Yeezys. So we have two colors, a bluish gray and a beige. And this bluish gray, we've seen it on so many pairs of Yeezys before. We've seen it on the Calabasas pair, also the 700 V1 Inertias, also the Hospital Blue 700 V2s. They've all had this same shade of bluish gray. The stripe on this shoe, in pictures it looked yellow, but having it in hand, I would say it's more of like a dark tan. Yeah, I guess it's like a borderline yellow. This one does not come with a heel tab. Nobody has any idea how they decide which 350s get the heel tab and which ones don't. The outsole of the sneaker is done in a tan color. There is one very unique feature about the shoe though that we've never seen on a pair of 350s before and that is the laces. So these laces actually come with a lace lock so you can't actually tie them. Also, when I opened the box, I saw that there was a little envelope in the box. Opening up the little envelope, you see that it is a regular pair of laces, which is in the same color as the laces that are already on the shoe. So I guess if you wanna actually tie the shoelaces, you can put those ones on. But from what I can tell, there's really no way to actually remove these laces without actually cutting it off. They are stitched together, so I guess you can maybe try cutting off the different stitches. But yeah, there's really no easy way to take these laces off. You're pretty much gonna have to cut off the laces if you wanna put these normal laces on the shoe. Of course, it goes without saying, a super comfortable pair of shoes, so it's important that you get the sizing right though. If you haven't already worn a pair of 350s before, I always suggest going a half size up than most of your other shoes. So for me, that's half size more than my Jordan 1s, than my Air Max 1s. Let's also talk about resale, but before I do that, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so because that really helps me out. And of course, smash that like button so a lot more people get to see this video. So resale, so we talked about how the sneaker was an Adidas app and Yeezy Supply exclusive, but even with that being said, the resale prices right now are actually not very high at all. In fact, after taking into account fees, if you're trying to sell this on like a, a reselling platform like StockX or GOAT, after you pay fees, you're really not making much money on the shoe at all, which says a lot about the colorway, I guess. A lot of people not really feeling this colorway, but like I said, I think this shoe looks way better in hand than it did in any of the pictures. The pictures really just didn't do it justice. So there is a pretty good possibility, I think, that the prices will start to rise a little bit once people start actually seeing some on-feed pictures. So I actually do think that these might be worth a hold, especially if you have the smaller sizes. We know that 350s always perform better in the base sizes. I did get this pair in a base size, so I plan on holding on 
to it. Yeezys, of course, nowadays are getting mass produced, but this seems to be one of the more limited colorways to drop this year, so that's the reason why I think they're probably worth a hold. What are my personal thoughts on this sneaker? Is it a cop or a drop? I do like the colorway, like I said, definitely better in person, but not enough for me to actually want a pair. I did mention that this sneaker has that bluish gray, and in my opinion, I don't know why Yeezy brand keeps putting this color on all its shoes, or at least a lot of shoes. I don't like the shade of bluish gray at all. It's the weird color that, to be honest, reminds me of hospitals. So for me, it's still a drop, but that's just my opinion though. Let me know down in the comments. What do you guys think of the Adidas 350B2 in the Israfil colorway? If you haven't already done so, of course, make sure you follow your boy on Instagram. The handle is right here. It is at JDKick6. It's also the easiest place to contact me, so make sure you follow me. And I'm dropping a ton of content on there too. The on feed of the video coming up right now. I got this in a base size, so my girlfriend's gonna do the on feed. Shout out to her. Thank you guys so much for messing with the channel and for watching this video once again hit that like button if you haven't already done so and subscribe as well and until next time guys peace